one of the main groups advising the Nazi leadership was a secret society known as the Vril. Members are said to have included the commander of the SS, Heinrich Himmler, Air Force commander, Hermann Goering, and the head of the Nazi party, Martin Bormann. The Vril Society took their name from a 19th century book written by Edward Bulwer-Lytton called The Coming Race. In it, Bulwer-Lytton describes a powerful master race and an ancient mystical energy form known as Vril that could be tapped and controlled. The Vril Society in Germany took their name from this force, this universal force, which in Sanskrit is known as prana. Just like an engineer can use electricity to either heat a room or cool a room or make sound or do so many other things. It's one energy, but it can be manifested in different ways. The Vril Society, they believe that this Vril power could power machines and devices. And they wanted to use it for uh, aircraft, discoid flying saucers. According to their beliefs, the Vril could tap into this energy because they were the direct descendants of extraterrestrials from the Aldebaran solar system that had come to Earth in the distant past. Members of this pure master race were known as Aryans. They believed that Aryans descended from a race of ETs, and these ETs imbued this Aryan race with tremendous power and meant for them to be the master race on Earth. And that was in part the justification for the Nazi political party to establish the Aryan supremacy on the planet Earth. When the Nazi party swept into power in 1933, the Vril encouraged Hitler and his henchmen to fund a worldwide search for ancient alternative technologies. German scientists and researchers scoured the planet for ancient texts and relics, such as the Holy Grail and the Ark of the Covenant. According to legend, these biblical artifacts contained powerful energies that could be harnessed and used as weapons. The Ark of the Covenant was said to be a wooden box that was overlaid in gold, and the Israelites were said to revere this box because it represented God. The Ark of the Covenant is said to possess tremendous power. Whoever touched it dies. At his headquarters in Wevelsborg Castle, SS Commander Heinrich Himmler brought in psychics and mediums who claimed they could contact extraterrestrial beings. One of these was an influential member of the Vril Society named Maria Orsic. Maria Orsic headed a group of women known as the Virilikin or the female Vril members, and they were beautiful women. They grew their hair very long because they felt like their long hair could act as an antenna to the universal Vril energy. They believed that extraterrestrials, non-human force, was right here on planet Earth, and they were the ones who inspired the early technology to develop circular-shaped craft based on images that they'd seen of flying saucers. They inspired Schaumburger. They inspired other developers to look into the possibility that these disc-shaped craft could fly through some sort of anti-gravity, some sort of levitation. <laughs> 